Hello chess lovers, here is a very short game played by the 4th world chess champion Alexander Elekine. His opponent is Vasik and the game was played during a chess simul in 1931. Elekine started with e4, e6, d4, d5, knight c3, bishop b4. This is the win over variation of French defense. Bishop d3, bishop takes c3. This is not the best continuation. The most popular line in this position is d takes e4, bishop takes e4, and in this position black either plays knight f6 or c5. Anyways, we see this bishop takes c3 check, b takes c3, h6, a dubious move. Probably black is going to play knight f6, and by playing h6, black as if prevents this bishop g5 move. But this gives white a great chance to play bishop a3 controlling this diagonal. Let's go back. Instead of playing h6, a better move is d takes e4, bishop takes e4, and now black can develop its knight with a tempo, and after bishop d3, black castles. But do we see this h6, and now comes bishop a3. And already black is starting to have problems with castling. Knight d7, queen e2, d takes e4, bishop takes e4, knight f6, bishop d3, and a bad move by black, b6. Instead of playing b6, the best move is c5. If d takes c5, then queen c7. This is equal. But actually this b6 move is a blunder. Can you find the best continuation for white in this position? Ready? Alekhine just checkmated his opponent in two in this position. He played queen takes e6, a brilliant queen sacrifice. His opponent took on e6 and he checkmated on g6. This strong bishop just controls this diagonal and there is no way out for the black king and this is a checkmate. Your comments please and thanks for watching. Good luck.